All glory to God. Uh, make sure you guys check out your boy's sponsors, buycheapmuckcoins.com. Link down in the description. Use that promo code IMAV at checkout. Saves you 5%. All right, auction block, folks. So let's, um, all right, so we, we kind of decided. Oh, first off, heads up. Good looking out to, I mean, there's a few different people that said it, but the first person, I forgot his name, but um, I didn't even realize I was putting my, uh, <laughs> my turkeys up in the last video I was putting them up for like 2k I think a few of them sold but uh, thank God I recorded that video that day and then so as soon as I saw it I was like crap and I went back and I I got like 10 of them off the block so I don't know how many I put but I saved 10 of them put the rest up uh, so as you can see some of them still got to sell but as you can see I, I saved a lot of our coins we almost really messed up but so now um, we have a few things we need to look at because we did the pack opening, the wager, if you missed it, we did a wager not too long ago with Wifey and we pulled, uh, what's his name? Is it Marcel? Yeah, Marcel Darius. We pulled my man there. I know he's going for a decent amount. We also pulled two Louis V's, Luis Vasquez. I believe that's it. Oh, I got stuffing too. So there's a few different things I'm thinking of right now, y'all. There's a few different areas um, I'm thinking of going. I just know, I don't know how new this set is, but I saw this leftover set. Uh, you get 75k just for completing this set. So uh, I still have the game changer packs that I got to open. I'll probably open those later so you guys can expect um, maybe one of those today and then maybe... Uh, the other one tomorrow. I'll probably just open those by myself. Uh, but we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll get at least four turkeys out of that. So we'll have four turkeys to cover that. We'll probably get some gravy too. Um, but as you see, we got stuffing here. Uh, we pretty much have everything except stuffing, gravy, sweet potatoes. Um, and then these elite ones, these pecans, I'm not too worried about those. But these might run us like 10K. So hopefully we pull as many of those as we can. And then, you know what I mean, we get a 75K come up. So, again, even if we had to spend, like, you know, 30K or whatever to get these, that's still a, you know, 45K come up. So, that's something I'm thinking about doing. The decision that really needs to be made here is whether we want to even attempt to do this right here. Um, on Wifey's account, I didn't see how many gold players we have, but I'm sure we have some of these gold players here. Not that these guys are expensive anyway, but I'm I'm just not really feeling this right now. I don't think it makes sense to buy all these players because because like I, if you remember in the last video we priced the different the different legends that we could potentially pull out of here, and I think it's a lot lot lower of a risk and still very doable for us to just buy them outright. So, um. That's something that's being considered there. Also, if we go to these legend sets, potentials with come ups too. Again, probably nothing I'll make a move on here. But uh, I was messing with these, and you see, there's a few of these legends that we only need like one player on. Uh, I think there was Ditka. Oh, it was Jack Ham. Uh, we just need the active. We could pull the Jack Cam. This would be a no-brainer because we already have the Elite Badge. And then if we flip on over to, uh, all right, uh, let's go Mutthead. Oh, spelled it wrong. Jack Cam goes for a pretty penny, if I can remember right. See, over 100K. So think about it. The alternative, we sell... The um Well actually you know what hold on let's look at something let's look at something let's look at something let's look at something Oh actually you know what the smarter thing uh, see this is why you gotta this is why something like Mudhead is beautiful and we, we confirm this stuff on the auction block if we went this route but look this Jack Ham card the rookie is going for sixty K right um Alright, the actual legend. 
I could have sworn that just said 100k. Hold up, are these two different? What the fluff? Okay, what is the difference between these two cards that I'm not noticing? Because we're, we're getting a good 10k jump. What the heck? Is this just a Mudhead thing? Is Mudhead tripping? Did you see it's got one for 106 and then one for 117? I don't know. But anyway, the point that I was getting at is that, um, you know, I mean, if we sell them separately, if we sell the Elite Badge and Jack Cam, his rookie card, we might end up making more. Because, especially if we're talking about it's only 106 or roughly 100k, uh, we'd make more selling them separate. So, uh, for us to go that route as far as completing the legend set and then uh, selling the card for a come up, we would check, check, check. Um, we would have to be making more, you know what I mean, than selling them individually. So, um, as we do these couple more pack openings, we'll see what we pull. I thought there was another one. Autogram is three of six. Uh, Mike Ditka. Oh, so we already had. We already pulled his rookie. Hold on. Let's see how Mike. Hold on. Mm, he's going for like 81. What have we been selling our elite badges for? What? Them things are going for like 60, right? 65? So, I mean, we're looking at a spa cup up there. I don't know if it's worth using our elite badge on that. How much is this guy going for? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We will see what makes sense. Um, I really wasn't planning on making any moves on these legends anyway right now. And I don't know. I might want to keep my elite badge. Because if we start getting closer to like the Chris Carter or the Mike Irvin. Like these are players I'd want to use. Even John Mackey. Like, I might not even try and sell those off the bat. I'd actually want to use those players. So, I don't know. We'll see. It just depends on what makes sense to whether we want to keep the Elite or just get our money up front and then buy something else. So, uh, with that being said, uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure... Um, I want to just sell stuff and start to, you know, either buying those legends. But but we got to re relook at the team because we might not even need those legends. Like for for example, Deion Sanders, great player. I don't know that he he don't work with what we want right now. Um, so you know, we were talking about getting a different right in potentially. What else we had? What else were we talking about? Um. Oh, no, that's what we really wanted. We wanted that Earl Thomas. Okay. And I think Earl Thomas is a better bet than Barry Sanders or Deion Sanders for us right now. And for what we're trying to... Oh, my, he's going for 475K. That's so affordable. Oh man, who needs to get sold? Who needs to get sold? I will sell this fool in a heartbeat. Alright, let's go back to the auction block.
let's actually confirm that price. There was that Ed Reed. Oh, I want that Earl Thomas though. So we getting him for just, you know, we getting him for under half a meal. That's doable. Okay, so let's look at how much Marcel is. Okay, let's just confirm it. I was gonna look on Mudhead, but let's just let's just confirm on the auction block what his price is looking like right now. Uh, for the bills, I believe. Uh, we could put him up for 160 and I'm pretty sure he'll sell fast because people are trying to complete these sets all right so let's put him up for 160 right away and that gets us around 400 K um, We got a lot of options on people to sell. I mean, we could sell um, Jamal Charles. We still got McCoy, right? Don't we? Did I sell him? Like, we got McCoy. I'm just trying to do card reviews on them, and I need to step my game up with that. Um, oh, I forgot we had Vasquez, too. Oh, heck yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's get this Earl, baby. Let's get this Earl, baby. Make sure you check out my other channel for daily uploads and thousands of videos that you can't find over here. And if you like this clip, make sure you click the annotation to subscribe. Link is also in the description. Cards keep flickering and it's throwing me off. Okay. Guys, this is doable. Guys, this is doable. We might have Earl. I don't know about this video. We might have him by next video. I'm saying we might we're gonna see gameplay with him next week. I believe that. I'm thinking this should sell fast, though. I got a lot of turkeys on wifey's in, too, that I could say. Like, we could sell Cunningham. These are just guys I want to get card reviews with, though. Like Jamal Charles. I need a few more games with him so I can do my card review. Um, like, if I wasn't doing card reviews, they would have they been gone. Would have been gone. Uh... Luis Vasquez. Let me get some decent for you, bruh. Let me get some decent. 16K is beautiful. I'll take that. I'll take that. And so... Let's see if there's anyone else. Tolbert. I can't sell Reese Poo. We can sell Tolbert, though. Uh, Mutthead has Tolbert going for a 20 at 3K? 
Am I missing someone? Staley? Joe Staley? Who's my left tackle? Oh, wow. Oh, you got that 86 pass block, though. Why? Why would you have that? Okay, so then what we want to do is... Joe Staley. Well, I feel like Tyron would go for more. Yep, 33. Uh, so, I'm going to keep Tyron, though, just because I like the pass blocking and I struggle with my passing more. And that run block being a little bit higher don't really phase me. So, okay. Okay, let me write this down, though, because I want to confirm all these prices so I get everything that I deserve. So, we're going to go Staley. He's the left tackle. All right, we got Tolbert. We got to confirm. And then we have, who was it, Tolbert? Tolbert Vasquez. And he is the right tackle. Right tackle, right tackle. It. Oh, this could be good. Yeah, let me get that Earl Thomas, though. Heck yeah. One up for 161. Go buy it, people. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Vasquez is right tackle. Um, he was like a 90 overall, right? And he was the Broncos? Yes. All right, so we're going to put our Vasquez up for 15 and 16. Tolbert. Let's try and get 25 for him. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what Reese Poo is going for. I'm, I'm not selling Reese Poo. I just want to know. Oh, Reese Poo. Oh. Oh, we could have a nice little come up. I ain't selling Reese Poo, though. Y'all done got me all the way messed up. Reese Poo, that ninja. But Mav, you know what I mean? You don't do a lot of things with fullbacks. And, you know what I mean? You can really get by with even Tollboard or a lesser fullback. Shut up! I ain't selling Reese Poo. It's my team. You want to sell, you want Reese Poo sold so bad? You go pull Reese Poo and then sell him. I'm not. Love me some Reese Poo. Okay. And we'll put, we'll put Staley up for like 23K. We, 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 we all about making things affordable for people. And that on its own is 30, uh, what's the map, 55, almost 80K right there. So, I mean, people buy our stuff. I'm making this the same day you guys are seeing this too, so. I'm just saying, if any of them players interest you, Pick them up. Yeah, 
hear my volume is like delayed. Staley, 23k. And my mouth and my like my audio with my mouth might be off a little bit. Um, it's usually off like a tiny bit, but my program has been acting weirder and weirder. So if it's too bad, um, just because I gotta get this video up today, I'll, I'll definitely try and work on it moving forward. So apologies for that if it's a little bit more than usual. Bro, why ain't my card selling though? Need these kiddos to get out of school and start buying. Someone go get them this Vasquez, man. Wait, what the heck? How I got a right guard, Vasquez, starting? And he has a right tackle, too. Oh, you ain't gonna let me compare him to his... Why his right guard... Hold up. Do we even compare Luis Vasquez to our current right tackle? We sure the heck didn't. I mean... I wouldn't say that he's, he's, he's not better for what we want. I mean, we could look at the footwork and everything, but... Unless Andre Smith is going for something... Eighteen K. <sighs> Run block strength. Andre's got him. Run block footwork. Luis got a small edge. Pass block strength. Luis got a small edge. Pass block footwork. There we're seeing the difference. Okay. I'll promote him. All right, I don't feel like going and confirming. Uh, Andre Smith stuff. Mudhead has him going for uh, eighteen, eighteen hundred. I'm um, eighteen thousand. So. Yeah, I'm going to put him up for like 15. Maybe a little bit less. Uh-oh, someone sold. Okay. All right, I think that's it for this video, y'all. We're going to wrap this up here. We we did a lot of good work today, a lot of good work. Um, and I think we'll have a lot more moves to make, too, after these next Game Changer packs. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Y'all be easy. Till next time, God first, God bless.